Hey guys, uh, I want to talk with y'all a little bit about this uh, 1854 Prodigy Platinum. We just picked this boat up yesterday. Uh, had intended on hunting with it this morning, but we didn't make it. A uh, little, little gas from the 13 hours on the road. But uh, anyway, I just want to do a kind of a quick walkover. Uh, the boys out here at Prodigy, absolutely incredible work that they do. Um, this is my first boat from them, uh, first mud motor setup. I had a, a War Eagle boat and another just a tether steer jet motor uh, and got rid of both of them, wanted to get one boat to kind of do everything. Uh, and this thing's just an absolute tank. The quality that they put into it is unreal. I mean, it's super nice to still see American companies keeping up the American reputation. Uh, but anyhow, a couple of just sweet features on this one. Uh, starting at the trailer. I mean, this Tennessee trailer is awesome. Absolutely awesome. Uh, little things like that step right there has already come in handy pretty good. Uh, spare tires tucked in there. Wheels look good. I mean, things just nice and clean. Um, so up to the boat, and we'll just kind of work front to back. White bar comes out. Really quick, easy plug right here if you want to just take it off altogether. But it'll come out like this, so you can even use it as a spotlight. I didn't even think about that until Corey showed me down there at Prodge yesterday. Uh, a hook in case you needed to you know, tow it out for any reason. Uh, it got a dual bank charger for this boat. Uh, I do have a riptide trolling motor that sits up here, but obviously we got it off uh, for duck hunting. But here's your plug, <clears throat> charges both batteries, the cranking battery and the trolling battery. So that's a really nice feature. Um, every other boat I've had, you know, if they did have an onboard charger, it usually only charge the trolling motor batteries. But uh, poles for your spud poles. Like I said, I just got a riptide. Uh, I can't remember what model it is, but you know, got the eye pilot and all that cool stuff that Minn Kota does. Front storage, um, there's a charger. But everything's just super nice and clean. I'm gonna go over a, a ton of stuff. Uh, this boat, nothing really fancy with it uh, that I had them custom do uh, outside of the entire boat itself, but everything's just nice and clean. Got a ton of room, ton of storage. Um, spud poles are right there tucked under, tucked up under the, the catwalks. Got a Lawrence Elite TI, uh, sits here. All these boxes, and we're in the process of putting the Drake Gilly blind on here. Uh, and I'm doing another video series on that with the install, but I'm waiting on an extra hand to get up here to help me with that. But now this is crap, and a little stuff like that little tray right there holds little stuff. Uh, that's super nice. Battery kill switch is in, is in this compartment. And the devil's in the details. I mean, this thing is, is just so cool. Uh, but you can even see, if you slide this motor over, everything these guys are, are looking at. If you trim it up, you'll notice they put some of the, uh, deck in here because that handle normally lays right there that way it's not banging you got two layers of the the teak or whatever that stuff's called the cushion keep everything from getting banged up i did get a hammer two blade prop uh we will be pushing some weight in this thing but we'll see how this uh three blade works on it uh again my first mud motor so i don't know like a uh, ton about how these things operate <clears throat> been doing a lot of reading seems like if you're pushing a big load that two blades way to go but we'll see but this thing is just absolutely awesome ride uh got these millennium seats they're pretty sweet that's that it there's the switch panel uh everything just super nice and clean uh always something i like i mean you know want stuff a mess or little nuances hanging out that that will aggravate you but this thing's an absolute tank uh, it's money well spent as far as i'm concerned
just uh itching to get it out and put some hours on it so if y'all are interested in a prodigy though yeah as far as i can tell this, this thing is awesome